Hello, I'm Florin from Wolfpack Digital. I'm a full stack developer and today you are going to take a look at API Pi Rails with um, RSpec. For those of you who don't know API Pi, it's, uh, it's an open source library used to generate API Pi documentation. It has its own uh, view, uh, viewer and it also can be used to export the documentation as a Swagger format. For today, we've prepared a simple Rails application with um, a user model uh, and another model called to-do task, task. A user has multiple to-do tasks. It's a very simple model with title and descriptions. Description, the user uh, has doorkeeper. And for that, we created an API. We have a basic doorkeeper authorization in the base controller and then a simple Rails controller with some basic methods. Um, besides that, we also uh, installed uh, RSpec, which is um, a well-known uh, uh, testing library in, in Ruby. And we've created the Rails helper and another request spec helper, which we usually use uh, in our tests to keep the code uh, dry. Okay, uh, that's uh, all the intro we have, and now we can um, uh, dig in. Um, let's start by adding um, API PyGem. Um, I have it uh, here uh, prepared, but I recommend you to use um, uh, Ruby gems to get the latest version. Um, API Pi comes with a generator to um, set it up. It creates um, an initializer and it also adds a route. Um, okay uh, i'll go to the initializer and do some small uh, changes in the configuration um, we usually want to api pi to only include the controllers from the api folder uh, because sometimes you may have uh, controllers which are not part of the api uh, so this is the, the first change. And then for this example, we don't have any translations and we want to have multiple examples for the same test. Um, another nice thing about API Pi is, is that you can have um, authorization, uh, basic authorization on the documentation if you don't want it public. Um, that's it with the um, API Pi initializer. Um, now we'll want to create a support um, file in the spec folder. Uh, okay, let's call it API Pi helper.rb. And the reason we do that is <clears throat> because we want to be able to um, overwrite the the title in the documentation output so uh, with this we can set a doc title property in our tests and um, it will display in the uh, result uh, now that we added this we want to require it in uh, the rails helper file support uh, API Pi helper and also we want in the spec helper to um, uh, filter only the requests uh, the specs which have show in doc property and also only if we set this API Pi record environment variable because we don't want to uh, regenerate the examples every time we run the tests. Okay, that's all we uh, we need uh, to set up. Um, let's go and create the, the folder where we put all the documentation. Um, let's create a folder called doc. Um, we want to 
require this uh, this file in application RB uh, this folder sorry um, so we can add it here uh, uh, we simply add it to auto load pads um, okay yeah we API Py doesn't necessarily need this, uh, but we prefer to, to put the documentation in separate modules uh, to keep the controllers uh, cleaner. So all the API Py DSL could also be written in, uh, in the controllers directly. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to create uh, a file for our to-do task controller call to do tasks controller doc dot rb um, and this is a simple module with some api py dsl uh, yeah uh, we only have it for the index and create method for now uh, we have a param group for the authorization with the header and uh, the error code, the param group, it's uh, reusable. So we define it once and we can use it both for index and create. And here for the create method, we also have the parameters required to, to create a new to-do task. Now that we have this um, in place, we need to include it in the controller. So we simply include the, the module and uh, that's it. Uh, we can uh, we can check the output. Yeah. So as you can see, we have a to do task resource with two endpoints, uh, get uh, to do tasks, and we have the header and the errors uh, we can get. And we for the post, the create new to do task, we also have the parameters. Uh, this is really nice, but we don't have anything about the output. Uh, that the, the response we get from the server and this can be solved in two ways. One is to um, write the examples, the example output here. Uh, and the other one is to use RSpec to generate them. And we want to use RSpec because um, it's, uh, we, we anyways want to, to write the tests and it's a nice way to keep them up to date, to keep the documentation up to date because it's generated based on the API response. So to do that, that, I will create a requests folder in the spec folder, um, API, V1, and uh, re to do tasks controller spec.rb. Um, this is where we'll put our um, Yes. Uh, first, I require the Rails helper, and now RSpec describe uh, API v1 to do task controller type request as a symbol do. And in this block, we'll want to create the, the test. First, we need a user. Uh, let's create it. Um, we don't have uh, factory bot and faker, but I would recommend you to use it on a production uh, uh, project. It will make your life so much easier. Create email uh, test underscore uh, time dot now to integer just to make it unique at test.com it's not important right now password um, secure random dot hex okay we have a user um, we'll also create three uh, 
to do tasks for this user user uh, to do task dot create title test description lorem ipsum and user user that's it uh, that's what we need to run before running the test we'll describe the first um, endpoint describe get api uh, lowercase api v1 to do tasks do and now we'll have the first context when the user is logged in when logged in do and before uh, running the tests uh, we need to stop the current user <coughs> get api v1 to do tasks and we don't have any parameters we only have the authorized headers okay and we want we expect that the response returns our to do tasks it returns users to do tasks show in doc because we want it to be included by our spec doc title um, get all to do tasks do and i'm only going to check for the oh what did i do i'm only going to check for the uh, response status for now expect response to have HTTP status OK and uh, yeah, I'm just going to copy paste this context and create another one when the user doesn't provide any authorization token let's say it's uh, not logged in context no authorization token we don't need to stop the current user and here we'll use the default headers okay and it returns unauthorized okay we'll also change this to let's say unauthorized request and okay so this is the the first uh, endpoint and if we run the tests we hope they are going to pass no oh yeah uh, it's a small typo headers uh, okay and yeah now they work uh, and if we run the server again and refresh wait a second and now we have the responses here uh, and it's really nice it has the title the description this is the response code we got and then the the body uh, and we have for all the scenarios um, let's go ahead and create another uh, endpoint for i'm going to copy paste and yeah um, just change the um, the test uh, i'm going to create the a new to do tasks right now so this is going to be a post request and we also need the params um, to do task uh, title again i would recommend to use something like faker uh, title description 
hello there okay and this needs to be transformed to a JSON okay it creates sorry a new to do task doc title create new to do task okay uh, let's save and hope that it works uh, not this we want to record again the examples oh yeah uh, for the create we expect the status code to be created so let's run them again it works let's start the server and hit refresh to do tasks yeah we also have now the examples for this one and we can see the we have here the parameters and then we have the response here um, this is really nice but as i mentioned before we can also use them in a swagger format so if we go to slash api pi dot json type equals swagger um, and we copy the, the output or it can be integrated with a Swagger editor. But let's go to the Swagger editor, add the output here. It will convert it into a YAML and then we have everything here. So uh, right now the um, uh, the specs are generated from localhost, so of course running them here won't work, but if we automate this and run them on a, a staging server, uh, yeah, they, they will work or generate them with a different base URL because it's configured in API Pi initializer. So uh, yeah, we, 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 can set, we can set the base URL here. Right now it's localhost, that's the default. Yeah, so this is it. This was the uh, basic demo. Uh, you can uh, check um, you can check the repository in the description, and I hope you learned something new today. Thank you. Have a nice day.